It's sort of fascinating when you connect the dots here on this next story. Honeybees now in danger of disappearing, and along with them, things like ice cream and fresh fruit. Yonja Denise takes a look at what's behind the sudden drop in the bee population and how it really could affect the food on your table. There's nothing more refreshing than cold ice cream on a hot day, but that sweet taste of summer could disappear because so much of what makes ice cream so sweet is thanks to bees, and bees are in danger. We see bees here, but in a colony collapse disorder hive, we've just not seen any bees at all. And that smoke just sort of calms them down. That's right. Dennis Von Engelstorp studies colony collapse disorder. In the last few years, American beekeepers say a third of their bees have been disappearing, twice as many as expected, each year without a trace. They perform something we think is altruistic suicide. They know I'm sick, let me leave, and hopefully my nestmates won't get infected. The impact of disappearing bees goes well beyond ice cream. One third of everything we eat, from fruits like these blueberries to vegetables and nuts, depends on bee pollination. So you think of apples, you think of peaches, you think of almonds, you think of strawberries. All of these crops rely totally, or at least in part, on honeybees or other bees to pollinate. A variety of factors, pesticides, parasites, even stress, may be killing off the bee population. Whatever the reason, the consequences are so worrisome, haagen has now launched a multi-million dollar research and awareness campaign to help save the bees. We went to the second largest ice cream factory in the world. Ready to go eat some ice cream. Where many of their key flavors depend totally on bees. Pineapple and coconut. Yep. Without, the, without the bees, what do we have? We have vanilla. No bees means none of this sweet pineapple. No strawberries, no lemons for this lemon sorbet. Without bees, you have no sorbet line at all. Uh, not fruit. Commercial beekeepers have been making up for the losses by buying extra queen bees and raising replacement colonies, but that fix is expensive and unsustainable. There are a lot of beekeepers who should have been out of business already, and they're in it for the love. A love for these small wonders so vital to everything we eat. For Good Morning America, Yanji Denise, ABC News, Germantown, Maryland. I love that those ice cream flavors are using real flavors instead of artificial ones. And I love the fact that she looked a lot happier next to the ice cream than she did when she was holding the bees there. I suspect just that's to very find a way true. to save the bees though. It's got to figure it out.